In this very first episode of our new version 4.08.00 new release video series, we would like to introduce you to our newly rebranded Stormwise software. In these videos, we will highlight the differences from the previous version, but please know that this is the same great product with the same numerical engine that you are accustomed to with ICPR4. To get started with Stormwise, go to the Help menu in ICPR and select Check for Updates. Download and install Stormwise version 4.08.00 and once installed, look for our new Stormwise desktop icon to open the program. There are some notable differences that you'll see right away. First, the graphic view is now embedded within the main menu, meaning that it's always open and the command prompt area will always be visible. Additional graphic view windows can be opened if you're using an expert Stormwise license. Data form functionality has also been updated in order to be consistent with Microsoft programs. So even though I've opened three data forms, the default is for only one form to be in front of the graphic view at a time. You can still bring multiple data forms to the front in one of two ways. Use the taskbar preview at the bottom of your screen like I've just done, or use the Windows menu to make selections and then click Activate. Saving and applying preferred view settings is much easier using the new Graphic Viewport Manager. You can return to any previously saved viewport by selecting the name and clicking Apply. This will quickly apply the saved zoom level, data tree selections, and displayed rasters. In addition to the graphic view updates, you'll notice differences in the data forms, including the manager forms. Specifically, the bottom button bar was removed from the primary manager forms shown here. All operations and tools can now be found either in a top ribbon toolbar or by right-clicking the name list. For example, importing and rasterizing map layer tools are now found by right-clicking the specific map layer name. And on the Simulation Manager, you can right-click any simulation name to open the error and warning logs. Other examples of tools that are found by right-clicking include a scenario build, pyramiding background images, and cloning or deleting a simulation. Users can now quickly navigate from a node data form to the data form for all basins and links that are associated with that node. For example, clicking Go to Upstream Link Items opens a generic link data form that is filtered to show only those links that are connected upstream to node SR20. From here, I can right click either the pipe or weir link to go to that specific link type data form. A new Find Panel tool allows you to filter any data form list to include only those that satisfy a filter query. For example, this list is filtered to show only nodes with the letters SR in the text. The form filters and other organizational tools can also be found on the Grid tab. Simply right-click on any column header for options. To wrap up this episode, let me show you that several data forms were updated to include a chart tab where data can be viewed graphically. These include node and rating curve data forms as well as some lookup table forms. New chart control buttons are also available on these forms for zooming and scrolling, viewing coordinates, or turning on or off the input data points. Click chart help to learn more. Thank you for watching our new release video series. We are very excited to offer you these enhanced tools, many of which were prompted by you, our users. Stay tuned for more episodes to guide you through all new features in this version of Stormwise.